Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back and welcome. Today I want to finish up the healing journal. So I've been working on it and I've got a few more scriptures that I want to put in, but I thought I would do the flip through with you today. So I, I added a few things and um, one of them was this flip. It's a book page, but it's a double, uh, not a flip, it's a, a tuck, sorry. A tuck and there's room for something small in the spot there. And then in behind, you can tuck something else. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I hadn't, not that it's genius, but I hadn't seen that done before, so. I thought that was cool. Then I laminated a feather on paper and I stuck that into this doily here. And I made a little tuck or a little pocket out of the doily. It's not a deep pocket, just a little one. And then in behind I stuck this clock because um, I thought of that saying, time heals all wounds. Time is not the healer. Time is a gift, but it is the Lord who heals. So I put that in there as a reminder. I made a little notebook out of, um, this is a four by four piece of scrapbook paper. And then I had some scrap paper that I just shaped and stapled it together for writing notes on other verses, whatever. I made a belly band. I stuck a frame on here with a picture behind it. I like this picture because it looks like she's looking up. And that's where our help comes from. Our help comes from the Lord. So there is a spot for a verse. And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds you were healed. First Peter 2 verse 24. And just a reminder, there are other kinds of healings other than physical I put in just a simple pocket and then I put in a cluster. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know has been made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has given him this complete healing in your presence. Acts 3 verse 16. So that can have a home there. This is a side pocket and it's kind of hidden because I put a lot of stuff in behind. This is from that snippet roll I made a while back and I just added a couple labels, a uh, bow and a bird. And so the pocket is actually back there. So, did some stenciling. This is a tuck as well. May as well use it. Great multitudes followed Jesus, and he healed them all. Matthew 12, verse 15b. This picture is from a calendar, so I just cut them out and um, glued them to some book page. This pocket we made together. Here's another pocket that I sewed. Here's a tuck, just so simple. Uh, three strips of, actually two strips of paper. And that's it. It, it could be a belly band or a tuck. I used a label, but it's not overly sticking. But it could be either a tuck or a pocket. 
or not a pocket, what do you call that? A, ba a band of sorts, just a short one. It doesn't have to be a full page, right? Um, so yeah, a strip of paper with a decorated edge. I put some lace in between and then I put some um, paper that I had watercolored and stamped on. And then I put a label on there, so that's there. This is a cutout, just put it on the page there. Stuck an envelope there. Here's another part of a snippet that I used to decorate a pocket. And the pocket's probably too small for this one, yeah. So, uh, let's see, what have I got back here? I could switch these around. So there's actually a tuck. Well, it's two pockets. One is not as deep as the other one. So this is the shallower one, and that one's deeper. And that's a little snug there too, so I'll probably just leave that there. All right, where were we? I did turn this into a pocket. Um, tell you what, I'll put this over here. That works. All right, and then I can put this longer one in here because it's a nice big pocket. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison it will not harm them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will be made well. Mark 16, verses 15 through 18. So, there's that one. I made some little clusters. This could work as a tuck as well. Um, this is a button, and I put one of those little nail... I don't get my nails done, so... I don't need them for my nails, but I got those little stickers, nail art, that's what they're called. And I decorated some buttons and I attached this one with hot glue because it didn't have any holes. It had one of those um, nubs at the back for the thread to go through, but it works as a, as a placeholder for there, so. Okay, so that pocket we made together. I did leave some empty spaces, a simple tab. Here's another tuck, or is it a belly band? I don't know now. However it works, I think it's a tuck, yeah. Here's another tuck. It's actually hidden in behind there. It can go in there like that. So, there's lots more space to put things. I had to use that parrot. I just really liked his coloring. He is the Lord, my healer. I just changed the tense. Um, there's a verse in the Old Testament. I think it's in Exodus. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord who heals you. Something like that. So then we made this pocket together, we made this pocket together, another tuck, I started using more labels. I used this sticker that I foiled as a tuck, I think, <laughs> I think it still works. I only. Um, Suck it down part way so it should come out. Okay, so then there's another cluster. 
a cluster and yet it's a tuck. Um, I just took a piece of music paper, I folded it in half, and then I stuck it down. I put a flower on top and then it works as a tuck. Actually, it could also work as a double tuck. So, this is a, a tag that I made. The printable is from Graphics Fairy, but inside I put my sticker, Oh Taste and See That the Lord is Good. So, that's on the inside. All right, and then I just gave this a little strip for decorating. And it's one of my printables. It's on my coffee page. And a back pocket. I saw Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda make these pockets. I, she called them slot pockets. She did a mass make with them. It's basically you take a piece of paper to make the to be the pocket and then you have like a s smaller strip of paper to put on the front whatever paper you choose I like this faux rice paper because you can see see through it and then you can use that as a slot pocket so and that is it I have completed this one and it is quite chunky for what it turned, what it started out to be. I think I probably could have gotten away with less pages, but I'm happy with it. It's um, it's nice, and I think it would make a great gift. So there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed that and maybe got some ideas. If you um, if you made one and followed along, let me know. I would love to hear about it. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.